Icon with Paul Idol and Perceptor, aka Perceptor. He has a line to share. A cursory evaluation of Decepticon capabilities indicates a distinct tactical deficiency. Thank you, Paul. My pleasure, Mom. Truly. It's, it's up for can I, can I have you say one thing for the video? What did you think of BotCon? What did I think of BotCon? Yeah, what did you think of your first BotCon? <laughs> as Perceptor, you have to say it as Perceptor. Yes. Oh, I, I can't be that, that verbose. Um, uh, BotCon is an ex extremely exclusive experience. I was fascinated by everything. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna spread the word a little bit and tell your other fellow voice actors? Absolutely. Tell them we love them, okay? Yes, Tell all of them we love them. You're not only loved, you are supremely adored. Aww. So come to Bata. Yeah, it's the old one. I was telling, telling folks earlier. You recently got to work with Frank Welker again, you get reunited in the studio. Can you tell us about how that's been? How does it feel to be working with Frank Welker again? It's Fantastic. <laughs> Frank Welker is the king. Yeah. And I couldn't begin to recount some of the great experiences that we have had in the past. There are so many. As I've said to people before, Frank Welker is probably the only person in the world that can make me laugh more than anybody. And uh, because of that, uh, we have lost a lot of time in the studio's recording. <laughs> One particular example was just recently. Frank was rubbing his leather shoes together, making a sound that sounded like the creaking timbers of a ship, an old, old naval ship. his leather shoes, like this. And I went, what are you doing now in my head? He goes, Mr. Christian! <laughs> Mutiny on the bounty, he said. One, Mr. Christian! And he assumes the face. There we are. Mutiny on the bounty. He's doing the creaking of a ship with his leather shoes. <laughs> well, I started to laugh, and I keep, kept on laughing, and of course they had started on a new take, and I was laughing through the take, and then they go back and start all over again. We get serious, I'm looking at it, and I go, Mr. Chris? <laughs> and he just smiles at me and say, Leather shoes, mutiny on the bounty, and I start laughing again. Of course, this is going to go on all day long, because he does things with his arm. <laughs> come on, Frank, come on. I'm trying to be serious here. <laughs> All day long, me and the both of us, we just crack each other up. It's one of the most fun sessions that I have ever had in my life. And I am so glad we're together doing it again. I'll take it easy on you. Is there any character from anywhere ever that you've ever wanted to play? from any genre of any, anything that you have had a chance to? Well, I'm a cowboy, and uh, I've always been a cowboy. Uh, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a cowboy, and it took many, many years uh, before I could be a cowboy. But I became a cowboy. I learned how to rope steer and brand and do all that stuff, and I love being on the trail, and I love being on roundups and things like that. I think the only character that I'd be really happy at would be a cowboy riding a horse uh, in a great western somewhere. Uh, I don't care which one it is. I don't care. I'd love to do a western. I'm still a cowboy. How many cowboys in here? In your heart? Who didn't want to be a cowboy? I don't know. <laughs> down, down. Hello, Mr. Cullen. Hello, sir. <laughs> I 
heard no one ask this question since I've been here, and it's not a transformative question, so I'm trying to jump on you. <laughs> what was going through your mind when they came to you and wanted to, you to reprise your role as car on that short-lived night by the series? Like I said, don't you? <laughs> well, to reprise the role uh, a car. Car, a uh, night automated roving robot. A uh, car. Um, that's going back a long, long time. And um, I, I remember it well. And uh, it, it kind of was at the same time that I was doing Optimus Prime. And reprising the role of Carr was uh, years later again. So I was kind of, that was a compliment. I was very appreciative that they would think of me after all those years to come back. But after all those years, I couldn't for the life of me remember what I sounded like. <laughs> I had to go and research it to find out car. I am the night roving robot. Whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a similarity in there that scared me because I said, wow, that sounds a little like Optimus. Boy, I gotta I gotta stay away from that because I didn't have to worry about it at the time. I'm going on and on and on and on and on and on. Uh, gosh, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was, it, it was fun. It was a compliment. I took it so.